From Maine and Gervais, this is ABC Columbia News. They're friends. These are friends. This might be a cousin. This is why it's so important that they not be forgotten. Local youth gather to remember loved ones lost at the hands of guns. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. For ABC Columbia News at 11, I'm Eric Weisfeld. And I'm Alicia Barnes. We're live right here from Maine and Gervais. Well, local activists are hoping to shoot down the numbers of countless young people gunned down every year by firing off a constant reminder. ABC Columbia's Rochelle Dean joins us live in the newsroom with more on how one program is taking aim at gun violence. Rochelle. The next time you drive by Pacific Park along Wayne Street right here in Columbia, you may get a wake-up call. Organizers erected a memorial to get some to trigger a change in their actions before pulling a trigger and taking a life. Out of sight is out of mind. But the Rich program is hoping to change that by displaying an image that won't allow you to forget. This anti-gun violence tree holding the weight of dozens of wooden shaped firearms, all of them bearing the names of everyone in the capital city lost to gun violence in the last three years. A burden carried by the families and friends who live with those losses every day. Rest in peace, Angel. Rest in peace, PW. These are more than one, more than two. It's an eye opener that we lose in people every day or more than we need to be. Chris Davis spent the afternoon helping display some of those names. Some of them he's never met. Others he knew all too well. My cousin who got shot in his back last year and then my friend PJ, he actually shot himself playing Russian roulette. And I have another friend, he was shot at Olive Garden taking his family out to eat. A hard reality to swallow for this young man who says he visits his cousin's grave every Monday and now dedicates his time encouraging others to avoid the senseless acts he says does nothing more than show how immature you really are. I'm the toughest and I, my gun's going to prove it, but I mean, even a child could shoot a gun. Everybody's affected by gun violence, whether you're a part of this community that's, that, that's doing it, whether you're part of the community that's not. A lot of people say the gun is the worst weapon in the world. A knife is the worst weapon in the world. Really, the worst weapon in the world is somebody's mouth. It might remind somebody to think before you react in a violent situation. Organizers tell us the display will remain there for several weeks. In fact, volunteers helped refurbish the park benches and have now planted a peace garden, giving people a place to come and reflect. Live in the newsroom, Rochelle Dean, ABC Columbia News.